So Williams bringing one upgrade to the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. That is an engine upgrade on behalf of Mercedes. This is the grid for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix then. It's Charles Leclerc on pole position alongside Lewis Hamilton in the Mercedes. Max Verstappen just missing out on the second on the first row. He is third with Sergio Perez fourth. Big Gasly's fifth with Lance Stroll an impressive sixth. Carlos Sainz is seventh with Valtteri Bottas eighth. Rounding out the top ten is Nico Hulkenberg and George Russell. It's two by two though as Lando Norris is next alongside Brown. Roman Grosjean's 13th with Toro Rosso is Lucas Weber 14th. Sebastian Vettel is left 15th after a 10 place grid penalty with Alex Albon 16th. 17th is Kevin Magnussen and 18th is Antonio Giovinazzi. And on the final row of the grid is the two Renaults of Ricardo and Devon Butler who also has a 10 place grid penalty. Hi guys, Brown here, welcome back to another video here today for part 44 of the F1 career mode here in Baku, one of the best tracks on the calendar it's been a while since the last part I'm sorry about that but I don't really want to drag this on we're doing a one stop, we're starting just outside the top 10 so let's get into this race as the five red lights come on here And it's lights out and away we go. And Lewis Hamilton's got away well. Charles Leclerc's got away better. We've gone down the inside. We're going to do it. Daniel Ricciardo S move. Dive bomb everyone into that corner. Charles Leclerc's got away. In the background, it's a great start from Pig Gasly. And we're going wheel to wheel with Valtteri Bottas. Bottas has hit the wall there. We'll see a replay of that in just a second. As now we're side by side with Valtteri Bottas. Valtteri Bottas having damage to his front wing there. As we head into turn four. And now we have to squeeze out Sergio Perez there a little bit. In fact, that was Lance Stroll. As now heading through, they're all side by side. Still, it's a chaotic opening lap. It always is in Baku, heading through those couple of corners and now to the trickier part of the track. This is a replay of the start from our perspective, so I just thought we had to go for it. Down the inside we did, we gained loads of positions. There's Lance Stroll and um, Valtteri Bottas side by side. I decided to go for the lunge. There's the contact, I was going to kind of turn out of him. This is what it looked like on board Bottas. So, we went very late and then his front tyre gets locked in our rear tyre and there's not a lot we could do about that. Skipping on though to the end of the opening lap, we've pulled out a massive gap as into the pits goes Valtteri Bottas to change his front wing so his strategy could be gone out the window as there's a glitch in the pit lane. You can see there with the tyres, that's always a bit awkward. Um, see glitches like that. But into the pits he comes he's gonna change his front wing of course and put on a set of the hard tires and now skipping on a couple of laps on to lap three out of the race is going to go sebastian vettel here and he's oh my god he's come back onto the track he's hit devon butler Devon but it's gone right into the back of him and now Sebastian Vettel's driving along like those people in the middle lane on a motorway that want to do 45 in a 60 and out of the race goes Sebastian Vettel in the end so in literally a couple of laps uh, what was already an uphill battle for Alpha has just got even worse Vettel of course having that template grip penalty from engine issues I'm guessing skipping on now to lap five and this is a three-way battle for the podium positions just the final podium positions as it were for third place this is between Verstappen, Hamilton and Pierre Gasly so Carlos Sainz in second he's had a great start from starting down in P7 as Hamilton's just been absolutely swamped there Verstappen couldn't stay ahead of Pierre Gasly so Pierre Gasly the big winner the bigger battle that uh, up top that we can see here is between Sergio Perez and Carlos Sainz 
in the racing point and in the Red Bull. They're skipping on to lap 8. This is Lewis Hamilton thinking about a move on Max Verstappen. Of course, Hamilton started just in front of Max Verstappen at the start. He's lost out the Pierre Gasly's made a runner and all the way on to lap 12 we go now because nothing happened in this opening stint we just had to look after the tyres and just see what we could do so on lap 13 we are going to come into the pits and we're going to make our one and only stop we're going to go into the hards and then these tyres now are just going to take us to the end so lap 13 it's only a 26 lap race so slap bang in the middle of this race and we're gonna come out side by side of our teammate and we're just going to beat him out just about there not side by side yet but we will be in just a second as George is in our slipstream he pulls to our inside and he, he's gonna try and get us down the inside he's got us we do the switch back of course our tires got to get up to temperature we go very late to the to his inside again there Lando Norris is waiting in the wings but we have Bree overtaken our teammate there and stayed ahead and now can just look after the tyres and hopefully nurse them all the way to the end and pick up some very valuable points that we really need. So the two Haas boys now are going wheel to wheel down the inside, Kevin Magnussen's the one on the inside, Grosjean's the other one. As round the outside tries to Kevin Magnussen, we all know these two love to hit each other, but here I'm just sat and we're going to go down the inside of Roman Grosjean. We then have the outside line for the next part of the track and we're going to sail round Roman Grosjean's outside and now go down the inside and now, and now we can get after Kevin Magnussen in the other house. And I guess Grosjean it will be left defending that Toro Rosso of Lucas Weber. So skipping on now, this is Pierre Gasly going wheel to wheel with Lando Norris on lap 14 of the Grand Prix. So not far after we pitted, here comes Lando Norris past the Red Bull. Now he can get on with his race. We are the car just in front. That is our Williams, it's not George Russell. And that he was on the two stop, I believe. So the two stop has kind of made their second stop and then the one stop strategy kind of started slight shining through as it were as we're now fending off Pierre Gasly of course he beat us just in the end back in Bahrain so this time we're gonna try and hold on there's seven we're on lap 17 so there's still nine laps to go eight laps when we cross the line We'll see what we can do is down the inside goes Pierre Gasly. He forces us the long way round, all the way round the outside. He's still there on the inside of us. So we're going to have to go to the outside again. We're going to have to hope we can get him on traction here. As he is still just ahead. We're going to tuck back in his slipstream. We're going to pull back to the outside. But now Lando Norris thinks he can get in on the act as well. As round the outside we go of Pierre Gasly stay ahead he hits the barrier there on the inside at turn four and now Lando Norris matches his chances round the outside at that corner where Hamilton and Vettel came together back in 2017 and now round the outside and also Valtteri Bottas here. Pierre Gasly is being absolutely swamped here on lap 18 of the Azerbaijan Grand Prix He's lost three positions in a single lap, has Pierre Gasly. And now Valtteri Bottas fancies his chances with Lando Norris. As Pierre Gasly here has actually stayed out. On to the end of lap 19, Valtteri Bottas on the back of us now tries to go to our inside. We squeeze him a little bit because... I'm never going to let slide what happened last season at Silverstone, he's side by side of us and of course at the start of this race but he should have backed out of that in my opinion. It's round the outside, we try to go on lap 20 we to try and defend Valtteri Bottas all the way round the outside again and we have him on traction and we've got past. Factory Bottas, we've stayed ahead just about and now Lando Norris thinks about it on 
Valtteri Bottas as well. Round the outside of turn four. And I think Lando's got it. It's an awful camera angle. And Lando has. And that is a move and a half. Now at the end of lap 20, there's Lance Stroll lurking in the wings. As here comes Lando Norris, pulls to our inside. And now could try a move round the outside here. All the way round the outside at turn one. And we've squeezed him out. And now Valtteri Bottas fancies his chances down the inside as we squeeze him out again. Lando did have another look round our outside. He thought better of it though. As now in the slipstream and past goes Valtteri Bottas again on Lando Norris. This is a great little scrap. Back down the inside. Lando's still there on the outside. And now that goes back to the inside for Lando Norris. In the background, Lance Stroll's caught the back of it. We've kind of pulled away a little bit by about a second and a half to this battle. As now it is Factory Bottas. He just about stays ahead. But skipping on some laps and on to the end of the 25th lap and on to the final lap. Down the inside goes. Valtteri Bottas on us and he gets the job done as we make a massive mistake on exit we lose the back end and now this final lap is just going to be about whether we can re-overtake him but heading up the straight we couldn't get in the slipstream we had DRS though but we just couldn't get close to him and we nearly hit the back of him there and see the tank slapper as oversteer is on to the end of the lap and the race winner would you believe is going to be Sergio Perez Carlos Sainz is coming home for P2 and then it is Charles Leclerc just ahead of Max Verstappen there as here comes Lewis Hamilton and up to the line comes Lucas Weber and he's done him he's just about done him there and now here comes us and we've just about stayed great ahead drive, there of Lance really Stroll after Valtteri Bottas overtook us. Wow. And an incredible win for Racing Point. A brilliant performance. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? Well, time management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed, it's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. The Racing Point team will be very happy with today's performance and the final result. Another display of excellent driving and excellent teamwork and a well-deserved first place finish. So that's been your Azerbaijan Grand Prix and what a race it turned out to be in the end. The first stint was slightly boring. Boy, the second stint wasn't, no. This is though, how close Lucas Weber beat Lewis Hamilton by 17.8, 17.9, a tenth of a second. This is what it looked like in terms of actual, kind of real terms. Probably about the same distance as what happened in real life in Brazil between Gasly and Hamilton. Very close. So this is the standings after that absolute classic of a race. I realise now thinking about it that this was the race of course where my game crashed. That didn't happen this year thank god. So it's Valtteri Bottas 7th in the championship. So in the constructors it's Ferrari who lead from Red Bull, from Alpha, then from Racing Point. We're all the way down to be honest our big points came from George Russell's win last time out in China. And now we have a contract renegotiation to do. And I'm just going to speed this up quickly. So our kind of value went down from the original contract. So... I did have to kind of turn it down a little bit but they ended up accepting it in the end which is always good that's what we want our proposal has been accepted 
and nothing like Red Bull last season you know if he's on the channel this time last season how much I struggled this is the R&D because I realize I haven't really been showing that so we have the best car by literally a country mile and now do you see why how much I was struggling how much I was annoyed at myself from Australia from kind of Bahrain a little bit especially from China because the car is capable of so much more than what we're doing at the minute but hopefully next time in Spain though that isn't really one of my favorite tracks I'm kind of writing off the next two Grand Prix until we get to in what my opinion is the best part of the season the Canada um, the Canada France Austria Silverstone Hungary is a bit mad but then you have Belgium Italy Singapore that kind of run of races from Canada all the way to Singapore is what I'm really looking at it's taken me about two months to get through these videos to get through these seasons so what I think by the time I finish this season I might stop the career there until F1 2020 comes out because then it will be the car launches and then it will be the season so and then I might do some how to F1 videos alongside that but if you have enjoyed this video make sure to hit the like button subscribe as well and I'll see you in Spain at some point <laughs> goodbye